Hi everyone, it's me, Plantine Charlene, and today's video is going to be some repotting, uh, another group of plants that I don't talk about that much, and that's it. If this is your first time coming to my channel, thank you for watching. I am a proud plant mommy, and I like making videos to discuss the plants that I have. Whether it's a new plant, an old plant, plant repottings, whatever it is, it's going to be a plant thing. If it's not your first time on my channel, thank you for returning. I appreciate you. So the plant that I will be discussing to repot today is my, um, sorry, is my Calathea, Calathea, however you pronounce it. I'm not really able to pick it up. So I'm going to show you guys what I saw, which is what made me say, let me do this repotting along with discussing a few of the plants that you see back here. Okay, so here is um, an overview of the plant and as you can see the leaves are turning yellow and they're curling drying up there's a lot of dried up leaves here the leaf the plant was doing really well at one point it was shooting out three to four leaves at a time and i will say this plant prior to now was on the brink of saying bye bye and i put it in the um living room for it to get morning sun and it was doing amazing and then all of a sudden sudden it started to look like this so when it was sitting in this pot when I took it out the pot look at here there's water sitting at the bottom and then if you look look at that so these roots you see that water and it's dripping these roots were just sitting in water I was basically killing this plant. It was probably not getting any kind of oxygen to it. So I decided, let me just make the video while I repot it. So it's going to be repotted in this plant, which I got out of Ikea for like two bucks. So here is my dirt soil, sorry. Uh, it does have a lot of perlite in it. I'm going to put some... Um, charcoal at the bottom of this pot because it does not have of the pot because it does not have drainage hole so I'm like I said I'm going to take some uh, charcoal and put it at the bottom of the pot and uh, so that those roots will not be sitting in any type of water like it was in the current pot it was in and I just want to give you guys another look Oh, that's not smart. These poor roots were sitting in that water. And it, like you see that dripping, dripping, dripping. Not good. Okay, so basically what I'm thinking is that I don't even want to wet the soil that's going to go in because these roots are so wet and um, the soil is very wet I'm, I'm I am going to loosen up these roots just a little to help them know that they're gonna have some new space so that they can uh, really really branch out but the, the roots do look really good they're nice and white they're not messed up yet well I don't want to say yet because I don't want them to be messed up at all so let me get this soil okay so the soil that I'm using is from a brand called good dirt I had noted in a previous video that I will put up at the top that they have um, different products I also use their fertilizer so I just put a little in about one third way into the pot oh crap I forgot to put in the charcoal sorry one second okay so here is the charcoal that I'm going to use uh, 
um, there we go nicely repotted I cut off all of those dead leaves this probably will go bye bye but I'm just gonna let it live as best as it can right now and see what happens and then I'm gonna wipe off this pot and I'll be back okay so I cleaned up wiped the pot down made it all nice and pretty again and I just wanted to show you guys one more time what the plant looks like I'm hoping um, I do see that a new leaf is coming right here so hopefully within a week or so I'll see some more new growth coming now I now though I have to find a new spot for this plant because where it was in the smaller pot it fit in a stand this is much bigger so I'll have to figure that out moving on so this next part is going to be about plants that I don't mention in my videos that much that I own and the first one I'm going to start with is this Hoya pubocalis spot it yeah yeah if you don't know anything about me because this is your first time watching any of my videos I am the worst at announcing or pronouncing the names I just I'm not good <laughs> As much as I love plants, I still can't get the names out right. But um, I've, I'll put it down at the bottom so you guys can see the name of it. If you're not familiar with uh, which type of Hoya this is or my bad pronunciation. So this Hoya, I've had it. I purchased it from, uh, I think I either got this from, I think I got it at Gabriella Plants. And when it arrived, it had three of these already. I lost one. This one is fading to black too, as you can see the, the discoloration of it. It should be this nice green color and it's not. But I have more here. It has grown since I've uh, received it. It's doing very well. I haven't had any issues with it. At one point, I did think I had uh, mealybugs on it, but I was very happy to be wrong about that. It sits in my wannabe greenhouse, uh, modern style, and um, under a light. So it gets very good light, but I think the light may be a little too strong, and that's why this is happening. But um, I try to move it over so that it can stay looking like this one, which... I see a lot of new growth on that if you guys can see that so uh, this one too there's a lot in the growth there so I'm hoping that um, I do right and as I'm looking at the plant I noticed that there's some roots sticking up the bottom I never noticed that before and uh, I may have to repot this one too I don't know I'm gonna look but I may that was not the plan. <sighs> okay, next is this plant, which I've never seen it before. Um, when I saw it in Home Depot, I snatched it up, and according to the tag, because it's a form of a Aurelia, but I am not, I repeat, I am not going to try and pronounce that. So, moving on, this one is a tree-like plant too. You see that? It just has the one stem. At times though, I do get new growth down here, but it doesn't last long. So I do see that two new growths are coming. There's one there, and there's one, oh, it's three, oh, four. I'm not going to try and make you guys see that because it's kind of hard and I don't have good eyes as is, hence the glasses. So this plant takes a lot of water. I probably need to, oh, I'm seeing even more new growth. I'm probably going to have to rethink uh, about repotting this one too. It's in its nursery pot, 
in this small pot which it doesn't really fit in properly but I don't want to repot right now because this is the reason why I'm buying only four inch max size plants um, as far as the pot size goes because I'm still trying to find room and it's getting harder as the plants grow but I don't want this plant to go away you see there in the center it, I, I get new growth in different places so you guys let me see if I can open up the forest uh, there you see it see that little one right there okay um it's growing really good it, it's a i'm gonna say medium to fast grower you see the variegation in the leaves it takes a lot of water it likes the light it's in the living room in the window receiving morning sun i'm gonna tell you when i am successful i'm like really successful but when i i'm bad i'm really bad when it comes to keeping a plant alive this is one of them that I'm doing really good with. It could be more the plant than me, but that's fine. I don't care. Uh, but this one is just so cute. Look at those leaves. I'm really appreciating this plant. I have not seen it since I got it, so I'm very happy that I took it when I did. It was the only one there. I've had it. I purchased it last year sometime. So it's been less than a year, but... Um, it's been at least, I'm going to say, it's been less than a year. And I'm very happy with this plant. So that is another one, the whatever Aurelia. I won't pronounce it. Don't worry. Next up is my Croton. Now, I think I got this one out of either Home Depot or Lowe's. It's doing very well. It's probably double the size and height since I received it since I purchased it it's three excuse me it's three stems in here um, it also sits in the living room uh, receiving morning Sun this plant loves water it loves light like the last one I just showed you the Aurelia um, I'm watering these plants at least three times a week I kid you not and I'm like so afraid of overwatering it. I do see one little tiny root right there starting to come out the bottom. I, I done went through three, no, four plants. I've repotted one, and I think all four of them need to be repotted so far. Uh, yeah, this is not going to change into a repotting video <laughs> completely. It's what I repotted already is what I repotted. If I should repot it, I will do a separate video for that because I'm not doing it today. I just cleaned up everything. I'm not doing that again. I'm not. Not happening. No. Okay, sorry. I got distracted. Uh, this croton sits in, like I said, the living room window. The thing about this plant, you know when you're giving it enough light or not enough light based on these spots. So you see down here, it's way more spotty, right? Versus up here. Now, though it is sitting in the living room getting morning light, which I believe is a northeast um, facing window, the leaves up here are not as spotty as the ones down here. I'm still doing good because you can still see it's not just green. That's how you know you're not giving this plant enough light. When you get more green than you get spots, um, and this is still very spotty. It's just, this is spotty. Urgh. So I'm very happy with this plant. And I'm going to move on. Because this video will get too long. Okay, next up is another Croton. And when I first purchased it, if I can find the picture, I'll put it up. I don't know if I will. But it is the... Um, It's a brush, somebody's brush, a painter. Lord, 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 give me a second. Picasso's paintbrush. That is what this is. Right now it's looking like 
a very sad paintbrush. Now, I purchased this one out of Crest Gardens in Brooklyn, New York. Um, when I first got it, it was, you know, it was like this. It was very bushy. Uh, a lot of leaves had died off. When I bought it home, the first day I bought it home, there were three, and I say one, two, three snails on this plant. I don't do snails. I don't do bugs. I don't do pests like that. Like, no. Um, I thought I was going to have a fit. That's part of the reason why I have not repotted this plant because I have to convince Ernest to repot it for me because he's not afraid of those things. And I very much am. And if I uh, take this plant out of its pot and I see a snail, that's not gonna work. I'm even surprised I have it this close because when I saw the snail, it was actually on one of these little skinny leaves. And you can see these leaves are very thin, very, very thin. It is starting to get new growth down here at the bottom. I'm being brave for the video, but, uh, and I'm seeing some new growth here on this stem. So there's a total of four, five five stems here so if it gets bushy again and this plant needs a lot of light because that's how you'll get this color when it's really bushy and it has the you see all the mix of color in it because it'll give you the red the yellow the orange the green and it's like like mixed in with each other it's really pure, pretty so if I find the picture of what it looked like when I first got it I'll show you guys Again, this is another plant in the living room receiving the morning sun, and I have to water this one. I'm going to say at least, I'm going to move it back now, at least uh, two times a week, which, again, that's what's going on pretty much all the plants in the window, two to three times a week averaging out. So, all right, last but not least is a plant that I don't really think is meant to be a house plant, but I'm a sucker, and um, I've never saw anything like it, and I think it's because it's not really a plant. I believe I got it from Hertz Garden, and it is called, well, let me just show it to you. Right now, it's, it's on a major gangster lean. I, I think I'm going to have to... Um, give it some new soil top dress it so it can stand up properly but you see that it's called according to the tag cushion bush see I can pronounce that that's easy cushion bush and um, I'm going to read out these Ooh, maybe not I'm just going to put it up on the screen because I can't see that not even with glasses on that's too small for these eyes um it sits also in my modern um greenhouse in my living room under a light it's doing fine it has grown since i originally got it but not by much um i don't know why it's on a gangster lean but it's sitting in one of these uh little uh i don't know if it's a clay pot or a um terracotta pot but I watered this one very since the summer really kicked in with the warmer weather I'm gonna say I'm watering it once a week before I might have been watering it every two to two and a half weeks so I know that this warm weather is definitely making a difference obviously it's much warmer out now versus uh, the winter or any other season um depending on where you live but um it's doing fine it's it's a slow grower it's a super super slow grower because I because it's looking oh okay I'm I don't want to all right I'm gonna move on I put a stake in there and uh between the stake being in there and the tag in the back, it's kind of being held up that way. Anyway, that's it, guys. So 
I showed you one, two, three, four, five, six um, plants, one repotted, though I think three others need to, maybe four other plants need to be right, repotted. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting hot and I'm feeling like I'm starting to sweat. I feel the shine. Anyway, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Click the bell to know when another video is coming out. Absolutely no pressure there. Um, hold on one second. Again, sorry. Um, uh, what was I saying? Like, comment, subscribe, click the bell. No pressure. If there's any plants that you like that I showed you today, please let me know. If there's... Um, any information you can give me on this more than I've provided, let me know. I purchased this based on looks alone. It had nothing to do with anything else. That's pretty much about 50% of my plants. I may not know a thing about it, don't know the name. I just like the way you look and I want it. But there it is. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it. So before I keep yapping, I saw him walk by. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and as I'm going to try to remember to always say, keep planting. Bye-bye.